everybody, and welcome to Racing From Delaware Park. Hi, I'm Rich Glazier, and this is Closing Day. This will be the last Delaware Park replay show of the year, but we are on every night with simulcast racing. 11 o'clock every night except Saturday night, 10, uh, 10 p.m. So tune in those nights and see how you're doing at the other tracks, but uh, kind of sad. Let me take my white hanky here. <laughs> kind of sad that it's closing day. I like when the horsemen are here and the trainers and the jockeys and the horses and, and then seeing all the fans. Some fans don't come in the off season, so I won't see some of you until next year. But we had a good meet. I think the statistics will show. We'll find out in a couple days or so when the numbers come out. But right now, we've got 10 races to get to. You know, does Bungie want to say goodbye? I don't know. Is he still around, or did he head, to head out? Oh, there he is. Bungie wants to say goodbye. He's sorry he didn't make a profit this year. It's only the second year he didn't make a profit in all the years he's done this. But he wants to say goodbye, and away he goes. All righty. So now we can get started with the 10 races, and here's the field. For race number one on closing day, field of six will go. Six furlongs, and the favorite was on the rail. Here's John Curran with the call. And they're off. Good start for them all. Easter Vigil to the inside. Up on the outside, Silvito was their son of Flicker, but Easter Vigil has the most early foot. Leads it by about three parts of a length. Up on the outside, Silvito racing second, followed by Boondoggle. Down to the inside, self start edging into that third spot. Boondoggle now back and forth, but a close up fourth. And Son of Flickers dropped back, and do with pride is the trailer. About four nip lengths off that lead as they make their way into the turn. Easter Vigils there, self start toward the inside, Silvito on the outside, those three across the track. And tracking them, Boondoggle racing in fourth as they make their way around the bend. Then a gap of four lengths further back to. Son of Flicker, and the trailer is due with pride. They've got under three eights to go, and self start Easter Vigil still going at it. Up on the outside, Silbito. Boondoggle racing fourth as they head for home. Self start and Easter Vigil still inseparable. Boondoggle now angles to the outside for clear sailing, followed by Silbito, who's hanging a bit in fourth with a furlong to go. It's self start and Easter Vigil still going at it. Self start on the inside begins to edge away. Easter Vigil's game, but not quite good enough today. It's going to be self start to win it by about a length and three quarters. Easter Vigil getting second. And once again, the first horse in the first race strikes and does it again on closing day. Self start for Carol CC, Carol Sedano, the leading jockey for the fourth time. Scott Lake, the trainer, home team stables, the owner. 340, 240, 10. Easter Vigil with Serpa, $764. Boondoggle with Suarez. 380, exact to 2220, try 111, super 8160. On to race two we go. Field of seven going, and here's the call. And they're off. To the outside, gifted pathway well. Brujita Bonita between horses down on the inside, rushing up the favorite off the ribbon will now contest for that lead. And off the ribbon shoots to the front by a length. Brujita Bonita racing second. Mission Good Karma toward the inside and third. Brujita Bonita in between horses up there three wide, double cross. Then a gap of three and a half lengths. The pride leader and dream of hero as they make their way into the turn with off the bourbon to catch. Leads it by about a length and a half. Moving closer now, Brujita Bonita in second. Then a gap of three lengths further back to Gifted Path, followed by double cross. Next in line, it's pride leader on the outside. Mission Good Karma has dropped back. And the trailer is Dream of Hero as they make their way around the bend and at the top of the stretch. Brujita Bonita putting pressure on off the bourbon as they head for home. They've got about five lengths on the rest of them. Pride Leader is racing in third, followed by Gifted Path. For a long to go, they're still going at it. Brunita Bonita on the outside, on the inside off the bourbons, battling back gamely. Then three lengths further back, the Pride Leader trying to close on the top two. Off the bourbon is clinging on to a narrow lead. It's off the bourbon now, edging away. Off the bourbon will win it. Going to be tight for a second with Pride Leader, I think, edging out. Off the bourbon, does it for Carol Sedano. She sweeps the double. How about that? Grand Motion, the trainer for Bushwood Stables, LLC. 
That gives Carol 100 wins for the meet. Congratulations. What a great meet she had. For $23, $23, Pride Leader with Rivera, 6 even, 360. Brojita Bonita, 540 with pass. Sack to 2440. The try, 170, 180. 1-1 double, $8, super, 306.40. And there is Jamie Ness's assistant, getting the leading trainer and leading owner. Jamie Ness, leading trainer for the sixth time, and the leading owner, Jagger Incorporated, which is Jamie Ness's stable. Glenn Reeder and John Mooney presenting that. Congratulations to Jamie Ness. On to the third we go. Scratch the two. Here's John. And we should be about set here. And they're off. Up toward the outside, Blue Hen Madness toward the inside. Banana Kova vying for that early lead. Dance and Debbie's going to split them. Followed by Teresa's Honor. Well, concerned down toward the inside, up on the outside, Big Mama, followed by in-between horses, Silver Majorette, as they make their way into the turn. On the front end, it's Banana Cova leading it by almost two lengths over Dance and Debbie. Bluehead Madness next in line. Teresa's Honors moving forwardly and fourth now, followed by up on the outside, passing fast. Then comes Silver Majorette, Big Mama. Midday prayers drop back, lost on the stairs, and the trailer is well composed with a quarter to go. On the front end, it's still Banana Cova has some company. Blue Head Madness on the outside. Dance and Debbie between horses as they turn for home. Banana Cova toward the inside, saving a lot of ground. There has a slight advantage up on the outside. Blue Head Madness and Dance and Debbie between horses. Dance and Debbie now to the front by a half. On the outside is Blue Head Madness toward the inside. Banana Cova late run from Lost on the Stairs, but Dancing Debbie is holding sway. Dancing Debbie will prevail. Going to be tight for a second. Lost on the Stairs on the outside. Banana Cova on the inside, and it looked like Blue Head Madness did hang on. Dancing the Debbie does. Does it for Relu Gutierrez, for Doug Dunn, James Aguilar Juarez. 663 even. Banana Cova with Cedeno. 443.20. Lost on the stairs. Rodriguez 1260. The exact at 2680. Try 454. Double 19. Pick 3, 1690. And Super with the 9, 103360. And that winner was another Delaware certified winner. Claim. And a claim also, Teresa's honor, went to Wayne Potts. We're getting everybody in the picture here. Let's go to race four. This one at a mile and 70 yards. Here they go. And they're off. Overrider lunged a bit at the break there. Toward the inside, Majestic Doc Roway. Well, Rosebud's high quickly to challenge. Being urged up on the outside is Lord Anthony. Swag next in line, followed by Sky Ace. Overrider has moved up after that sluggish beginning and most likely is your trailer as they make their way around the first turn. Majestic Doctor leads it by almost two lengths. Rosebud's high is there with Lord Anthony. Swag now angles of the inside, nicely saving some ground around the bend. Then a gap of two lengths to Overrider. About six or seven more to the trailers. Up on the outside, most likely, and down toward the inside, that is Sky Ace. Opening quarter went in 23 and 3 as they straighten way right down the back stretch with Majestic Doctor showing the way by two lengths. Lord Anthony racing second, Rosebud's high is third, two lengths to Swag and fourth. Overwater moves up alongside, then about six more to Sky Ace, and most likely running as a team at the back of the pack. They've got just over a half mile to go. The opening half went in 47 and 2, and Majestic Doctor shaking free by about four lengths. Swag is charged up on the inside. Up on the outside, it's Overrider. They're running second and third. Then Rosebud Size dropping out of it, followed by Sky Ace, and most likely as they race into the turn. Majestic Doctor by three and a half lengths. Overrider racing second. Next in line, it is Lord Anthony. Swag is. Flattened out, then the rest are far back with a quarter to go. Majestic Doctor to catch and is still going strong. The six in one, 12 and four as they head for home with Majestic Doctor showing the way by six or seven. Still basically under a hand right now, being asked for more. The battle is strictly for a second with Overrider, Lord Anthony, and Swag on the outside. It's all Majestic Doctor paying a house call today. Majestic Doctor and Johan Rosado wins this one easily by about maybe a baker's dozen. Getting second, that is Overrider. And Majestic Doctor, an easy win here for Don't Mess With the Johan. 
Johan Rosado for Jamie Ness, leading trainer, adds another one. Nathan Harvey, the owner, $623.240. Overrider with Cedeno, $262.20. Lord Anthony with Panaeo, $260. Exact to $1740, the try $6260, double $2340. Pick three, $3730. Pick four, 58.80 in the super with the three, 128.30. And that winner was another Delaware certified winner. All righty, let's go to the fifth race on the card. Scratch the plane one, the plane two, the four, and the seven. Here's John Curran. And they're off. Between horses, mind the store, vying for that lead. Down toward the inside, go Christian, go up on the outside, Thaddeus. Toward the rail, that's Lunar Rover racing in fourth. Up on the outside, Southern Commission. And in between horses, it's Portmore as they race past the half mile marker with Go Christian Go, leading it by a clear two lengths over Mind the Store. Two more lengths back to the favorite Thaddeus in third with Southern Commission up on the outside fourth. Toward the inside, that's Lunar Rover and Portmore is the trailer as they race into the turn with Go Christian Go on the front end. Still leads it by a clear two over Mind the Store. Thaddeus is next in line. Southern Commission on the outside. Moving up on the inside. That's Lunar Rover. And Playmore continues the trail. But on the front end, it's still Go Christian Go. Trying to fend off Mind the Store as they head for home. Down along the inside, Lunar Rover trying to rally in third with a furlong to go. Between horses, it's Go Christian Go up on the outside, mind the store. Down toward the inside, coming on through Lunar Rover, followed by Thaddeus with a late run in between horses. On the far outside, mind the store. Down on the inside, Lunar Rover. These two will fight it out. Mind the store, Lunar Rover. It's going to be a photo finish between those two. Oh, it followed was by a Thaddeus. tight one, but it went to the 2B. Mind the store for Jose Delgadillo for Kim Gracie, running shoe stable. 7.43.80.240, Lunar Rover with Garcia, 9 even, 3.20, Thaddeus with Rosado, 2.10, the exact to 68.80, the try, 159.60, 1 2 punch double, 23.20, pick 3, 58.20, and the super with the 3, 275.80. On to the six as we move right along on closing day. Just one scratch in here, the eight. And here's John with the call. And they're off. Perfect Rosie from the outside is being asked. Right there is flashy moment toward the inside misdriven. And there goes my girl down along the rail. As they race into that first turn, flashy moment comes out on top. There goes my girl hugging the rail, moving quickly into that second spot, followed by up on the outside, Flamingo Chip and Perfect Rosie. Down toward the inside, by for less and misdriven. Two lengths further back to the favorite now. Down toward the inside, that's Black Wind looking to move up with right alongside Princess Nakia. And the trailer is Estrella Grande. Opening quarter goes in 23 and 4 as they race down the back stretch with flashy moments showing the way. Leads it by about four lengths. There goes my girl in the second, followed by Perfect Rosie toward the outside. Down toward the inside, Flamingo Chick, misdriven, down along the rail, by for less. Princess Nakia looking to move forwardly, followed by Black Wind and Estrella Grande. They race past the half mile marker in 48 and 2 as they race into the turn. On the front end, it's still a flashy moment. There goes my girl edging a bit closer in second. It's over two lengths further back. The Perfect Rosie trying to come back for more. Toward the inside, it's misdriven. Then comes Flamingo Chick dropping back. Princess Nikita looking to move up. Black Wind now begins to lengthen stride nicely into contention. Around the bend, flashy moment joined by There Goes My Girl. Black Wind now with a sustained rally on the outside going after that leader with a furlong without a quarter mile to go. Here comes Black Wind rushing up on the outside to take on There Goes My Girl. Misdriven with a rail opening, if good enough. Next in line, three across the track with a furlong to go. On the outside, Black Wind. Misdriven driving up on the inside. Next in line, dropping back. That's There Goes My Girl followed by Perfect Rosie. It's down to two, it appears. Black Black Wind on the outside, Misdriven on the inside, Black Wind and Misdriven to the wire. Black Wind trying to fend off Misdriven. It's going to be another tight one, but Black Wind, I think, edged out Misdriven. Black Wind does it for Jose Garcia in the winner's circle for Stacy Hedry, for Stanley Moles, and Star Stables.
LLC. 520-280-220, Miss Driven, just missed with Paz. 342.60, there goes my girl with Koa, 380. Exacta, 1760, try 7780, double 27, pick 338. Super with the three, 189.10. The lucky seventh race will honor the leading jockey of 2018 after the race. Scratch the one, the seven, and the 10. And here they go, a mile on 70. And they're off. To the inside, Sugar Shack away well. Rock around the dock, Zevin rushing up on the outside to join the fray. Just a scooch and down toward the inside, Kodiak Katie are racing fourth and fifth into that first bend. Rock around the dock, on the inside, Sugar Shack vying for that lead. Zevin is trying to tuck in in third, followed by Kodiak Katie with the rail in fourth. Just a scooch in between horses, up on the outside, Ten Penny Princess. Your trailers are at the back of the pack, scary, not scared. And toward the inside of that one, moving up with the rail, Millie's Journey. Opening quarter goes in 23 and 4. As they move down the back to Sugar Shack and rock around the dock, or head to head, going easily appears on the front end with Zevin right there, a close up third. Then a length further back to Kodiak Katie toward the inside, just a scooch in between horses, and Ten Penny Prince is still up there on the far outside, three wide, as they move down the back stretch. The trailers are Scary Not Scared and Millie's Journey. They cover the half in 47 and 4 as they race into the turn. Sugar Shack on the inside. Rock around the dock is there between horses and Zevin. Then a gap of three and a half lengths to just a scooch who's beginning to improve racing in fourth. Followed by Kodiak Katie who's dropping back just a bit. Next line, scary, not scared. Around the bend they go. From the outside, Zevin sticks a neck in front. Rock around the dock toward the inside. Sugar Shack, those three across the track. Just a scooch is trying to gain on the top flight and is doing so. As they hit the top of the stretch, we're going to have a foursome. Teen off at the top of the stretch. Between horses. This is Zevin on the inside, Sugar Shack. Rock around the dock. Now angles for racing room, and Just a Scooch continues a rally on the outside. Zevin now trying to fend off Just a Scooch on the outside. Sugar Shack on the inside. Zevin is digging in. Just a Scooch on the outside is trying to go on by. Zevin on the inside. Just a Scooch on the outside. Just a Scooch in the final yards, getting up for the win. Zevin, a tough luck second there, followed by Sugar Shack. And the lucky seventh goes to the sixth, Just a Scooch. Scooch. For you, don't mess with the Johan. Johan Rosado, a double. Carl Dur Duran for Donald Wilson. 1640-664-20. Zevin with Suarez, 443-40. Sugar Shack with Rose, 480. Exacta, 6380. The Tri, 470-80. The 66 double, 5140. The Pick 3, 7210. The Pick 5, the last one of the year, 1378. And the Super. $711, and there she is, CC Carol Cedeno, receiving her fourth leading title, leading jockey title here at Delaware Park with a lot of her family and kids, and uh, what a great job she did. No, there's a nice shot. 100 wins for Carol, and one, do you remember early in the meet, she won seven races in one day, a Delaware Park record. So, great job, Carol. Hope to see you back here again next year. Quinn! Oh, and after all that acclaim, Zevin was claimed by Jesse Cruz. To the eighth we go, rolling right along. Uh, scratch the one and the six and the nine. Five and a half furlongs. Here's Johnny. Without set. And they're off. May Sweet Dior breaks well, goes right for that lead. Down toward the inside, hope for the dance. With the rail, that's Dance Valentine up on the outside. Fiery Flower gets away in fourth. Brooksley racing in fifth, followed by on the inside, that's On Shore Leaf, Smooching Candy on the outside. Your trailers are Personal Server and Ambrosia as they race past the half mile marker. May Sweet Dior leads it by about two and a half lengths. Fiery Flower in pursuit, as is the favorite Brooksley up on the outside. And toward the inside, Hope for the Dance and Dance Valentina. Smoochie Candy advancing, as is Ambrosia, followed by Personal Server and Onshore Leave as they make their way around the bend. 
May Sweet ER opens up about four lengths on the field. Fiery Flower continues to chase. Next in line, they're about five across the track. Up on the outside, Brooksley hasn't kicked in yet. As they head down the lane, May Sweet ER in front still by five and bidding for the upset. May Sweet ER leads it still by about four lengths. Rallying toward the inside, that's Ambrosia up on the outside. A late run from Smooching Candy, but May Sweet ER is trying to hold on. Ambrosia is closing fast on the inside. It's going to be a photo. I think May Sweet ER hangs on. A sweet or taking it for Angel Serpa for Ken Decker and Jacks for Better Farm Incorporated. 1780, 860, and 640. Ambrosia with Cedeno, 5 even, 360. Smooch and Candy with Garcia, 1020. Zach the 104, 40, try 957, 60. Double 222, 80. Pick 3, 270, 40. Pick four, 1,328.30, and the super, oh, that's a big one, 5,210.30. We're already up to the ninth race. We only have two more to go. How are we doing? We're going to make it, aren't we? All right. Scratch the one, the three, and the 11. They're going a mile and 70, the last thoroughbred race of the year. And they're off. For the inside, Dreaming of Frank breaks well, goes for that lead up on the outside. Here comes Arch of the Diver, quickly to challenge. Far outside, Bubba's well, looking for a spot. Liberty Lane is toward the inside, racing fourth into the turn. Salt Air is right alongside, followed by Saving Ground Zafiro on the inside, saving all the ground around the bend there. Followed by up on the outside, that's Malibu Uproar. And as they race around the turn at the back of the pack, Monkey's Metal. They've got six furlongs to navigate, and on the front end, we got a bit of a duel there with Dreaming of Frank on the inside and Arch of the Diver on the outside. They've opened up about five lengths on Bubba's Will and Liberty Lane running side by side. Opening quarter went in a spirited 23 and one. Pretty good tempo being set down the back stretch, and they're still going at it. On the inside, it's Dreaming of Frank on the outside, Arch of the Diver. Now it's about three lengths to Liberty Lane, who's striding nicely in third. Then Bubba's Will racing in fourth. Salt Air next in line, followed by up on the outside. It is Malibu Uproar. They cover the half in 46 and two identical quarters as they race into the turn. On the front end, Arch of the Diver. But here comes Liberty Lane, easing up alongside. Appears to have plenty of horse, does the jock as they race into the bend. Then again, before lens further back. Salt Air is moving with the rail and dropping back Dreaming of Frank. Next in line, it's Bubba as well as they hit the top of the stretch. Right now, a two horse affair. Arch of the Diver trying to fend off Liberty Lane and is doing so. The six and 11 flat. It's Arch of the Diver. Had pressure, but now begins to draw clear from Liberty Lane. It's six lengths further back to Salt Air. Late run from Monkey's Metal, but down the lane they come. Arch of the Diver never had an easy moment, but has plenty left down the lane. Arch of the Diver. Jeremy Rose wins it by six or seven liberty lane clearly second monkey and back. arch of the diver taking it for jeremy rose to the occasion grand motion his second win of the day for the west point thoroughbreds and john haynes this one was 440 260 240 <laughs> liberty lane for cintron three dollars 240 monkeys meadow with marin 860 exactly 12 bucks Try 159.80, double 46.80, pick three, 304.10, and the super with the eight, 399.20. And this is it, the last race of the meet. This indeed is the nightcap, and it's for the Arabians, and a field of nine will go once around the oval. Here's John Curran with the call. And they're off in the season's finale. And toward the inside, Big Eye broke well, but quickly is taken in hand and drops back on the inside as they make their way into that first turn. Now, see who comes out on top. Soul on fire is right there with Lapco's Let's Dance. Wide around the bend, hands on the far outside. Lost a lot of ground around the turn so far. Soul on fire now being taken in hand is moving up on the outside. Lapco's Let's Dance joining that one for the lead as they race around the first turn. Chindaka's Eclipse racing in third. Down toward the inside, that's Marzan in fourth. Between horses, Royal Moonlight, hands line up there still with a wide journey. Big Eye next in line, and the trailers are 
Rio Bravo and still further back to Dehestiny. Opening quarter went in 27 and 4 as they move down the back stretch. And on the front end, Lapco's Let's Dance is now taken over by about a length and a half. On the inside, Soul on Fire, Royal Moonlight's making a four-wide move down the back stretch toward the inside, Marzan trying to go with that one. Chindaka's Eclipse next in line in fourth. Rio Bravo's move forwardly in that fifth spot, followed by Big Eye, Soul on Fire is dropping out of it. Then comes Dehestiny and Hanseline. Half went in, 55 and three as they race into the turn. On the front end, Lapco's Let's Dance by a length. But Royal Moonlight is right there, a close-up second now. A length and a further back to Marzan. Rio Bravo is trying to stay with the fray in fourth and a gap of four lengths to Dehesne trying to kick in from the back of the pack. Quarter to go and Royal Moonlight on the outside. Lapko's Let's Dance on the inside or head-to-head -head as they turn for home. The six went in 124 and four. On the outside, Royal Moonlight. On the inside, Lapco's Let's Dance is battling back gamely. And these two are going to square off with a furlong to go. Far back to the rest of them. Dehesne's rallied on the inside with Marzan on the outside, battling for third and fourth. It's Lapco's Let's Dance on the inside. Royal Moonlight is trying to go by on the outside. Lapco's Let's Dance is dead game. Lapco's Let's Dance. And Pablo Rodriguez will take our season's finale over Royal Moonlight, followed by Dehesne and Rio Bravo. And it was Lapcoast Let's Dance taking the final race for Pablo Rodriguez, 11 even, 483 even. Real Moonlight, the favorite with Garcia, $3.240. Destiny with Rivera, $8.40. The exact, the fifth, $34. The try, $6.56. The double, $45.60. Pick three, $482.10. And the final super, $1,384 even. All right. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I'm about to thank you, Elaine. <laughs> Thanks, Elaine. Tatman did the show almost 100% of the time. And I want to call special attention to John Kern, our track announcer. Yeah, there was a few, there was a little while there where John was a little under the weather, but he was here every day. And, you know, you got to be geared up to call those races and put the, so much emphasis and excitement into it. And, and you would have never known that he wasn't feeling well. So he didn't miss a day. And despite sometimes going without any sleep the night before. And it's just a great job by John Kern. I also want to thank all the, the, the um, uh, Mitch Allen. He's the Equibase chart caller. When you look at these numbers in here, who was where in each race, Mitch is the one that calls the, the races. He's called for 30 years here at Delaware Park. He thinks. He's pretty sure this is going to be it for him. He's going to retire, and that's the, that was the last race you just saw was the last one he'll make a chart for here at Delaware Park. But most of all, I want to thank you, the fans, for watching this show, supporting it. Well, believe me, when Comcast didn't have the show on, the phone uh, had plenty of messages the next day telling me there was no show. What happened? And I appreciate that. I don't appreciate the show not being on. But I appreciate you fans being loyal and coming out to Delaware Park and supporting our, our favorite racetrack, Delaware Park. So hope you have a great off season. We still have a show every night here on Channel 28 if they decide to put it on the air. But we're on every night at 11 except Saturday nights at 10. We handled, did we do that? We went out with a million, 1,057,441. Thank you all for another great year. Good night.